Oh god, it's gonna be cold. I did not think this through. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Channel with a Y. Okay, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be doing a little bit of a makeup showdown. One half of my face using only waterproof products, but we're gonna test that against regular makeup. I'm gonna try and create the same look on both sides, but wait, that's not all we're gonna do. Today's video is sponsored by Olay, so a huge thank you to them. I've been using Olay products for years. This is a big deal. And we are gonna be talking about the Olay Daily Facials. It's a makeup remover, but it's like a five-in-one, okay? It doesn't just remove your makeup. It cleanses, it scrubs, it tones, hydrates, and softens your skin. So I'm excited to be talking about those. Your girl's got her bathing suit on. Okay, I'm ready to test this thoroughly. And yeah, let's just get right into it. This side of my face will be the regular makeup, and then this will be the waterproof makeup. So let's first begin by priming both sides of my face. For the regular makeup, we are gonna use Becca First Light Priming Filter. So we'll apply that all over the regular makeup side. This is a hydrating primer. I like this primer a lot. Gives your skin a really nice glow. And then for the waterproof side, we're priming with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. When I searched waterproof makeup on Sephora, a lot of stuff comes up, honey bunny. And for waterproof primer, this came up immediately. It is a blurring primer. It's meant to blur pores, fine lines, and mattify. It's oil-free. And I like this primer too. It's an amazing primer. I would use something like this along my T-zone where I do get oily just for extra to help mattifying. Have I ever tested the claim if it's waterproof? No, so today that is a first. So on the regular makeup side, I'm gonna be using the brand new YSL All Hours Stick Foundation, mostly because I haven't really had a chance to talk to you guys about this foundation yet, and I really like it. It doesn't say it's waterproof, so there's no claims like that, so I thought, hmm. Let's test it out for ourselves. I'm also gonna use the darker shade B65 to contour a little bit, just cause I feel like it. It's really creamy, so it works well as a cream contour without you know, getting patchy or hard to blend out and it just melts right into the foundation. Now for foundation on the waterproof side, I'm gonna be going in with the Kat Von D All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. It literally says it in the name. It's meant to be waterproof. We'll see about that, honey boo boo. Now this is a super full coverage matte foundation. If you have anything you want to cover up in your face. This thing's gonna do it with no issues at all. So let's blend that out. So foundation on both sides, mostly you can tell that there's a color difference. Definitely have a better match with the YSL one right now, but just ignore that because that's not what we're testing. Um, moving on to concealer for the regular makeup side, we're gonna be using a classic, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which is a bomb drugstore concealer. It doesn't really claim that it's waterproof, so not too sure. What am I talking about? I used this in my uh, applying makeup underwater video and it wasn't too shabby. So We'll see if that was just a fluke or if it can do it again. And for the waterproof side, we have the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I do really like this concealer. It's got a medium to full coverage. Now for brows on the non-waterproof regular side, we're gonna go ahead and use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Great pencil, but doesn't have any claims that it's waterproof or extremely long wearing. So not sure how it will hold up under water. Go ahead and brush that out. For the waterproof side, we are gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I've been using this brow pencil for a very long time. It is supposed to be waterproof. I was gonna do like a pomade for this brow because I feel like just in general, that type of product, that formula would probably hold up better underwater. But I wanted to keep each side kind of as similar products as possible to try and get the same look. So brows are done. Both look relatively the same. We'll see if the difference is in how waterproof they are. And now let's prime my lids. For the regular side, we're gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now this does say it is super long wearing but it doesn't actually say the word waterproof. Hopefully keep our shadows holding up well on this side too. And for the waterproof side, I'm gonna use my OG, what I love to use, the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Now the MAC Paint Pot actually is not described as an eyeshadow primer at all. It's actually described as being an eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow. They have a ton of different colors, but I've just always, and a lot of people have always just used it as an eyeshadow primer because it works so well. And it does claim to be waterproof, smudge proof, and do all the things that a primer should do, like keep your eyeshadow long lasting, prevent it from creasing, all of that. Moving on to blush on the regular side, we're gonna use L'Oreal's Fantastical Blush from their Paradise Collection. It's this really pretty peach shade. Doesn't claim to be waterproof. It's a powder, not sure how it'll hold up, but it's pretty, so we are gonna use it. And on the waterproof side, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. It's actually meant to be a lipstick, but I think it'll work really well as a cheek color too. 
too. Let's apply that on our cheeks. We'll also use it for my lips later on. Oh, look at that. It's blending out perfectly as a blush as well. So I think this is a perfect substitute. Now moving on to highlight, we're gonna use Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive. One of my favorite powder highlights. Blinding, great formula. We'll keep this only on the regular makeup side. And for the waterproof side, Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter and Euphoric Gold. And it's this very intense liquid substance that should hold up better underwater, I'm assuming, but I don't really know of like a waterproof highlight. So we'll just see how this one holds up. So highlights are on both equally as blinding, beautiful. Moving on to bronzer. For the regular side, we're gonna be using the NYX Matte Bronzer, which is a powder formula, a great bronzer, affordable, great color. So we're gonna apply that in the hollow of my cheek on the regular makeup side, also on the perimeter of my forehead, also a little bit on my jawline. We're also gonna take that to intensify the nose contour a little bit. And for the waterproof side, I did not think I was gonna find a waterproof bronzer, but I was wrong. Apparently Tarte's Amazonian clay bronzers are actually waterproof, so I have the Park Ave Princess one here. And I'm gonna take that on another brush so we're not mixing it up with the regular bronzer. And I'm gonna apply that on the waterproof side in the same areas. Contouring my nose on the other side with that as well. Now we're ready to set my face. So like normal on the regular side, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder in Pound Cake. We're gonna apply that to set my concealer. And on the waterproof side, we have what seems to be a magic powder. This is the All Nighter Pressed Powder from Urban Decay Cosmetics. And when this first came out, I was so intrigued. I need another one because mine dropped and it's, it's all shattered. But I love this powder so much that I've been still using it. And that is because it really does lock in all your complexion, anything you set for hours. I mean, I've never tested it underwater, but I've gone like clubbing, you know, sweating up a storm and everything. And like my complexion stays put. So we're gonna use this to set basically my entire face on the waterproof side. So hopefully it does what it's supposed to do and make it all completely waterproof. We're gonna go in with regular eyeshadows on the regular makeup side using Too Faced Then and Now palette. So I'm gonna go in with Gretchen, using that as a transition shade, crease color. I would think that powder eyeshadow really would not hold up well underwater, but not gonna lie, I've never actually really tried, so we shall see. Also taking that to the lower lash line. Now taking Glitter Donut, I'm gonna spray my brush and apply that all over the lid. We're not gonna do a complex eye look, very simple, just two shadows, cause let's be real, that's not the point of this video. This is such a pretty shade though. Putting that all over the lid and blending up into the crease. For waterproof, I'm gonna use the NARS Velvet Shadow Stick. I'm not sure what shade this is, but I'll put it on the screen. We'll use this as the transition shade. It's a cream shadow. I just kind of assumed, you know, cream shadows would just hold up underwater a lot better. I'm gonna apply that on my lower lash line as well. Now I'm gonna blend that cream out with a clean, blending brush. Oh, it's fairly easy to blend out too for being a cream. Now I have this waterproof shadow liner, which is also a cream stick eyeshadow. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lid, blend that into the crease as best as I can. Now, because it's a little bit darker than what we have going on on this side, I wanna try and get it as similar as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and on top of that, use a Tarte Chrome paint. Now this doesn't claim to be waterproof, I don't think, but this is just to kind of match the eye look a little bit. That's so pretty too. Now moving on to eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Lavish Liner on the regular side. Seems to be, you know, a regular liquid liner. It doesn't say it's waterproof. It does say, however, it helps to grow your lashes. It's fine, you know, today's just not my best eyeliner day, it's okay. And for the waterproof side, we have Urban Decay's Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen, which is also a liquid pen, same as the other side, but this one just claims to be waterproof. Now moving on to mascara. For the regular side, we're using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the original version. For the waterproof side, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara waterproof version. Now for lashes, I have two different types of glue. We're gonna be using the Duo Brush On Adhesive on the non-waterproof side. And I'm gonna use a pair of lashes that I've used so many times. I don't even know what style they are anymore just because I lost the original box that they came in. And we're doing the same lash on the other side using different glue. We're using the Duo Waterproof Eyelash Adhesive. And I don't think I've ever used this one, so I'm not sure if it's true to its name. Flopping that on on the waterproof side. For lips, on the regular side, we're using Lipland Cosmetics Lip Crown in Brulee. I really love this brand's lip formulas. 
just, they're bomb. I don't know why I never really use them. And on the other side, we're gonna go back in with the Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. Now let's try applying it with the little contraption that comes inside. I tried to match up the shades as closely as possible, but I think this one's a little bit darker. Honestly, I feel like this is really difficult to apply with this tiny little thing. First of all, my nail is almost as long as it, so it's hard to hold. And I can't get a really nice, precise application because the product just like fades away too quick. I need to really dig it in there. Honestly, I like this thing better as a cheek tint. So there are both sides, waterproof and non-waterproof. So last step is setting spray on the regular side. We're gonna use regular MAC Fix Plus setting spray. Just a good old setting spray. And then for waterproof, we're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which is meant to lock everything into place. Extremely long wearing. That should be good enough for the waterproof side. So there we go, my full face of makeup is complete. This is what both sides look like. Both sides look relatively the same, honestly, to me, except for the lip color. But other than that, it really looks like I use the same products for my entire face. And you can't really tell that one side's waterproof and one side is not. So now it's time to put them to the test. Let's go get wet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> First, let's test it out with just like the water sprinkling down. I feel like that's kind of like when it rains maybe. And then <laughs> I'm gonna fill the tub up and then we can see how the makeup lasts completely submerged underwater. If you can really go swim laps in this makeup. Moment of truth. Got a nice little trickle. Here I go, I guess. Should I ease into it? I don't, I don't know. Should I just like... Okay, so that's like if it like was barely raining. This is what my face looks like. Okay, so far. Now, if it was really thunderstorm, torrential downpour. Okay, my face is pretty wet. And honestly, the non-waterproof side is holding up really well too. What the heck? A little bit more? Okay, so this is it's really wet. I might as well have been submerged underwater because that was just soaking wet. But both sides of my face look fine. Now let's get the uh, underwater shot. I've got my bathtub here. So non-waterproof side, waterproof side, I feel like it's obvious. Now we have a lot of the running of that non-waterproof mascara. When I touch my lashes, it kind of like completely gets all over my finger. We see the lash lifting, but honestly my complexion still looks really, really good. That YSL foundation looks amazing. The lipstick is looking really good, even though it's just a regular like satin lip blush. Bronzer still looks bomb. Shout out that NYX affordable bronzer. And highlight is booming. So now let's take a close up look of the waterproof side. I would say it is a success. Even my brow looks really, really good. So here are some makeup shots before and after getting it wet. And again, thank you to Olay for sponsoring this video. Let's now take it all off using their wipes. So I have one of the sheets from the Olay Daily Facials. They start off dry and then all you have to do is just add a little bit of water. Make sure the whole thing is damp. And then you kind of massage it and it starts to lather up with all of the good stuff on there. And these Olay Daily Facials make it super easy to remove makeup while taking care of your skin because they do more than just remove makeup and you see how easily it's taking everything off and ever since I've been using them I've been absolutely loving them. Do you see how quickly it took off my eye makeup? All I do for my eye makeup is really just scrub and wipe and most of it is completely gone here. And you can get these anywhere that you buy beauty products, but I get mine from Ulta. The waterproof makeup definitely lived up to its name and the non-waterproof makeup honestly pleasantly surprised me because it wasn't as much of a hot mess as I thought it would be. And then we took it all off using the Olay Daily Facials, which you can see for yourself. They remove all types of makeup so, so easily. So next time you're in the skincare aisle or yeah, Ulta, definitely look for the white and pink box to pick one up and try it for yourself because I'm trying to put you on them. They're good, you're gonna love them. Um, hello? But that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button right here and then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!